the um, GSK compound, um, which has now a complicated name, like Belantem uh, we call it sometimes Belamath to make it easier, as a first in class, a very novel immunoconjugate. So um, it targets as an antibody uh, the BCMA, the B cell maturation antigen, which is expressed on a high level on myeloma cells and not really somewhere else. And it has conjugated to the antibody a toxin, aristatine, so it's um, a combined modality. The antibody um, recognizes the myeloma cell, the toxin is implemented in the cell and can lead then uh, to the um, uh, can induce the cell death. And this is a very unique construct um, with this drug. DREAM3 will be the European approval trial for belantamab mafodotin. It is a randomized trial, again, two to one, um, in favor for belantamab, um, where uh, belantamab mafodotin is given as a single agent every three weeks, one hour infusion, and is uh, compared to uh, the combination of pomalidomide and dexamethasone, which is a standard of care in Europe for relapsed and refractory myeloma patients after at least two prior lines and having had lenalidomide and a proteasome inhibitor. It is expected that uh, the single agent belantamab mafodotin is superior. This is uh, for this the trial is powered, um, as the early trials showed a very encouraging response rate of 60% partial remissions and more in highly and heavily pretreated patients with a median progression-free survival of 12 months in the first trial uh, conducted. So um, we are expecting superiority and a new um, a standard of care for relapse and refractory patients. The quality of life will be measured with the regular um, forms where patients uh, are asked different questions in different areas, like it is established for approval trials. Sometimes you think when you're looking on this questionnaires, they're a bit, or you doubt if they capture really everything, but in general, when you then look over hundreds of patients, it reflects very well uh, how quality of life uh, is during a treatment, and so these are highly validated questionnaires, um, which uh, were now used all over the approval trials, and therefore are also well comparable. This is a very unique side effect of this drug class, the um, blurred vision, which um, it, the cause is um, a corneal ulceration due to the toxin, uh, which can be accumulated there. And um, this can be handled um, with prophylaxis, with eye drops, and, or with uh, therapeutic eye drops, or, but it affects around like one third of the patients in a significant manner. And it's completely reversible, what we currently know. But in fact, some patients had to, in the early trials, had to interrupt or even to stop the medication, but um, we all learn together how to handle this, and uh, there are now well-established protocols. Overall, um, it's a new toxicity we face here, but uh, what we currently know is that we uh, can manage it very well. 